Hello and welcome to Stats That Exist But Do Not Matter, episode number 49. And today we're talking about perfect games brought to you by Roman. Is there any science behind a perfect game? What do the splits tell us? Who's going to throw the next one based on this information that does not matter or mean a thing? There's been 18 perfect games thrown since 1950, the modern era of baseball. Eight of the 18 pitchers went on to be nominated into the Hall of Fame. So more non-Hall of Famers than Hall of Famers have thrown perfect games. So when you scout out pitchers right now, you don't look at future Hall of Famers. Could be anyone. Also, it could be at any time in someone's career. Randy Johnson was 40 years old. His perfect game came on his 463rd game. Dallas Braden, his came on his 53rd game. Someone threw one at 22 years old. Someone threw one at 40 years old. The average age for a pitcher to throw a perfect game is, let me find it, I had it, 30 years old. The medium age is 29. So I went looking for a 30-ish year old pitcher who's around his 252nd game, because that's the average amount of games a pitcher pitches before throwing their perfect game. I got three options for you. Cookie Carrasco, his 250th game is coming up, or 251st. Dallas Keuchel and Patrick Corbin. Eyes on those guys, according to all the stats that don't matter. One of them is going to throw a perfect game soon. The Tampa Bay Rays have been on the wrong end of a perfect game three times. None of those pitchers face the Rays this season, so that's not going to help us. Home team usually is the one throwing the perfect game. 12 out of the 18 have been on the home field. 11 out of the 18 were right-handed pitchers, which actually means left-handers are well represented because that's more percentage left-handers than there are in the league. So now I'm looking at Dallas Keuchel. I'm looking at Dallas Keuchel because he matches the age. He matches the years. He's a lefty. Uh, what else? What else? What else did I have? More stuff. May is the most common month, which makes sense. Hitters aren't really fully you know, up to speed yet. August is the least common month. It gets hot out. The ball starts flying more. Pitchers are more tired. September has three perfect games in it. So Dallas Keuchel, just do that. Here's the biggest piece of information. If the home plate umpire has Ed in his name, you're looking pretty. Ed Sudel called a perfect game. Ed Vargo called a perfect game. And Ted Barrett called two. And he's still an active ump. So that's four out of 14 perfect games with an ED behind the plate. And if you're suffering from ED, you got to go to GetRoman.com slash John Boy and you get $15 off your first month. You got to be Roman ready. You got to have the confidence on the mound knowing ED is behind the plate no more and you'll just throw a perfect game. How about that? So I'm looking at- Dallas Keuchel would be the second Dallas to throw a perfect game. The Dallases would be well, well represented. They both have kind of beards and curly hair and soft throwing lefties. So let's just do it for the Dallases, Keuchel. None of these stats matter. None of this means anything. It's just information that exists.